P.F. Chang's is another restaurant that I have never been to myself, but that won't stop me from trying to make their frozen dishes better and especially cheaper. So today, we're gonna to be tackling their famous Mongolian beef. This is Thought Out. This bag of P.F. Chang's Mongolian beef was $8.39 as of January 2024. Now at first glance, this actually looks pretty good. I would say of all the frozen meals we've done on this show, coming out of it, this probably looks the best. But the one thing I have to point out is how little actual beef there is in this package. I legitimately think there's more green beans in this than beef. When I first dumped it in, I thought that all those brown chunks was beef, but instead, no, that was the sauce. But without further ado, let's try it out. It's okay. Like everything else, not salty at all. It doesn't even really have a sweet flavor, and the veggies don't really add that much to it. If we're going by per serving size, I think we can beat this hands down. So let's thaw this recipe out. Let's start with our beef. I'm using a pound of skirt steak. And before anyone gets mad, yes, I'm aware flank steak is traditional, but we're trying to be mindful of price here. We'll slice the meat at an angle and get pretty thin pieces out of it. Pro tip, it actually helps to freeze your meat for about 30-ish minutes before doing this. We'll then dump all of our thinly sliced meat into a mixing bowl and we'll coat them in cornstarch, soy sauce, and sesame oil. And we'll give it a good old hand mix. And now for our special, special sauce. Start with half a cup of water, followed by half a cup of soy sauce, a drizzle of sesame oil, and half a cup of brown sugar, even though I didn't capture it all on camera, oopsie, and stir all that up. Now the ride is just about to start. Season your wonk with canola oil, then heat it up, wipe it off, and add another gulp of oil into the bottom. It's time to shallow fry this marinated beef. FYI, this will cook very fast. Oh, look how beautiful that beef looks. Genghis Khan himself would be so proud. Once all of your batches of meat are done, place them to the side. We then throw in sliced red onion, thinly sliced peppers, some garlic, and ginger powder, and cook until soft and fragrant. Then we'll add the sauce mixture, let it bubble for a bit, add the beef back in, and mix it all together. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of the green beans that P.F. Chang gave us, so I'm opting for some broccoli, separately cooked on the side and then thrown in with everything else. Finally, pair this up with some white rice from a rice cooker, hopefully, and you got yourself a meal that'll help you conquer- Damn it, this isn't even real Mongolian food, is it? And when it comes to price per serving specifically, it looks like we come out on top. Also, this here that you see on the plate is more than half of the product that you get in the bag. It may not look like it, but what remains in the pan is actually not that much. It's mostly just vegetables. And based off the fact that P.F. Chang's really only gives you like two-ish servings, um, this wins by a long shot because this can feed like three or four people. The first thing I noticed with mine, look how beautifully dark that char and the sauce is on the beef. I mean, that is beautiful. One of the most beautiful things we've actually made on this show. And I actually think the addition of broccoli here is actually better than the green beans. So without further ado, let's try it. Mmm, the meat is actually really tender. It's salty. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. And just the fresh char wake flavor of all this just really elevates it to another level. Thank you so much for watching this latest episode of Thought Out. If you enjoyed this and you were inspired to make your own Mongolian beef at home, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more Thought Out.